Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. So we're gonna start off with what I call formational trick plays. Uh, basically, it really isn't a trick play. The formation is the part that's tricky. So this is gonna be crazy formation stuff. So one of the first ones we run is, is what we call the diamond, uh, we call it diamond. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Archie Cooley and when Jerry Rice was in college at Mississippi Valley State, this was their base offense. They would put Jerry Rice at the X receiver and let him get one-on-one, -on -one, and then they would run diamond over here, or they'd run quad stack uh, and, they run, and run their plays. So some of the things we do, and this is just, Real easy, quick, because it's part of our base offense is that, you know, we can throw the wide receiver one on one to the left. We can run quick screen. So that's basic. You know, we just go diamond quick. Uh, obviously, you see on the on the slant, uh, once they get used to you running quick all the time, now you can come and run slant behind them when they all run up on the quick. Uh, we love the double pass off the quick here, coming back to that one wide receiver. And then the QB throwback was another great play for us. We throw to the diamond and then throw back to the QB. And then we're running that screen with the QB. And, and I've got film on that that I'll be showing you. Uh, one of the things that I noticed out of this that people tried to do is when you went to this formation, they would try to put somebody on the line of scrimmage halfway between the tackle and the, and the, the, uh, the diamond part and try to pick your pass off. So that was one of the things you really got to watch for that because uh, if, if they do that, they, a, a real quick player could actually get in the way and take it. Now, if they want to do that, though, they should be either one, your receiver one-on-one, -on -one, or you run that slant behind him. Uh, and then also, if you notice, too, you still got all of uh, your QB run plays inside off of that. So the diamond is just something you can add in real quick to your system, and it uh, – you know, gives you multiple things and the defense has to figure out, oh, are they going to throw one-on-one -on -one to the receiver? Are they going to run the ball with the quarterback? Are they going to run double passes? Are they going to run quick out there? So it gives them a lot that they're going to practice and it really doesn't do much uh, because you're running most of your base offense off of uh, this formation. So triple stack is another one. Uh, you just basically, it's the same as diamond, but now we're doing it out of triple stack. So it's the exact same stuff. We got quick slant. You got your run game. But the, the one good part is, is now that you have a running back in the backfield also. So now you can run basically your whole run offense out of there. Uh, you can RPO this. You could zone read it. I mean, any, anything that you're running, you can run uh, out of this formation. And a lot of times when you put three wide out there, they'll put three wide out there. So you just you, you made the numbers inside a whole lot easier. We call this stack, I, what I, I called this ninja before, and the reason you're going to see is there's another formation that I'm going to call ninja, but uh, this is just stack. We call this triple stack, and then this is, this is going to be stack, uh, but it was ninja before, but now we're going to go. And then out of this, obviously, this is still you have your run game inside, and then you just run a whole pass game uh, with your outside receivers there on that. Also, a lot of times, you run this, they'll spread everybody out there. They'll go two on two, leaves your middle open. And we would, we'd, our, we ran trap out of this a lot. But here are some, just some pass routes. Uh, and the great thing is, is, you know, you're just, you're just running basic pass the concepts that you have. And so, like, we would call fade, and that was what they would run on fade. And then we would call uh, cross, uh, cross fade. And then basically, X would do the inside and H would do the, uh, the fake. So there's just a lot of stuff you can do off of this. You can get real creative, uh, you know, with your pass game, but, and then you still have your run game inside. This is what we're going to call Ninja now. The only reason why is the, the Cincinnati Bengals uh, have been running this formation a lot, uh, and uh, Mike Leach has been running this, and Chip Kelly has been running this. The reason I called it BYU is when I discovered it, BYU was running it, and this was back in the, the mid-90s, and so that's why it was called the BYU. Uh, 
It also looks a lot like the A11 formation that was outlawed. But basically all it is, it's a four wide uh, play and we just move the tackles out. And so it's really nice to switch uh, just to shift to that. And, you know, you pretty much can run, you know, most of your offense out of that. Uh, one of the things we liked out of that, we just ran quick. That was one of our best plays out of it. And now we've got a blocker out there. Uh, you still have the, you know, the inside guy uh, still running a corner. Uh, we've also would line them all out there and we'd have, you know, three on three uh, out there and just throwing quick. And you still can run, uh, you can run double pass. You can run, you know, inside run game. I mean, just a lot of different things. And it's, all you did is tell your tackles to shift out wide and you can run everything that you've, you've been running uh, with your other stuff. This is where we move the tackles out uh, and then basically run quick screen. And, and we, we ran some other stuff too. So this is what we're calling Ninja now. So we shifted the tackles out. We throw a quick screen. What we found out a lot of times the, the defensive front, like a 4-4, four, four, they all stayed inside. So what we did is we, we outnumbered them when the tackle moved out. See how there's – this one we're actually two on – three on one. You notice how the defensive front stays inside? And then here's some stuff out of diamond and stack, you'll see. So that was the quick screen and the double pass. Remember I was talking about the guy that's got to try and pick you off. So that's one of the things you got to watch for. Swinging gate. So now a lot of people run the swinging gate and they run it for like a two point play. Chip Kelly was huge for this and it's great, but I used to love to run this in the middle of the field. And so our philosophy on this is that we were going to run uh, the shovel pass over and or throw the quarterback would throw the, the screen to the to the F back and basically get everybody to overshift. And so early in the season, we would run this and we would throw that all the time just to get everybody used to it, because what we really want to do is get everybody to go over there and get the our quarterback basically in, in space and let him run and let him do his thing. And so that's our, our thing is that we're going to run some of the screens and we're going to run, uh, and but try to get him open on there uh, in, in space. Uh, but what the defense has to think about is they think about, oh, you might run option or you might have a pass or you might do this. And there are all these different things they're going to practice when actually we run two plays. So we run the running back screen and we run sweep. Now, obviously, we could we threw the pass one time just because they came up and he, he dumped it. Uh, and then you can obviously throw the fade if if you ever get uh, anybody on there. But, uh, you know, those are the different things that, that we ran out of swinging gate. So I was talking earlier about how we, uh, one of the teams we played actually ran this and they still didn't line up right. And you're going to see that. I think it's the first one here. Yeah. We shift and they don't know what the heck to do. They're like, fight. do I go? Do I stay? You know, they don't know what's going on. And they, they practice it because they knew we were going to run it. And then all we really want to do is just get this guy in open in space.
Because you know those 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 guys that were you know DNs whatever that were coming up field, they've got to worry uh, trying to get up field to do pressure and take care of containing. So it just automatically a quick guy can beat them just because they have to cover two uh, planes of you know vertical and horizontal, and he's going horizontal. This was just us getting tricky, throwing a pass, and then he got covered, and so he, he dumped off. I know one year I had the seniors uh, run this for homecoming, and we I just told them just uh, kind of like playground, just get open. And basically his job was to run, and he could pass it to somebody, or he could uh, just run it. And so they just kind of uh, – you know, just made it up as they went. And that was like the first series we did for homecoming for the seniors. So here we're running option, quarterback pitches it. I mean, there's so many different things you could do, you know, just different years uh, running this stuff. And once you get, you know, they get used to you running this, they, you know, they're, they're like, what are you going to do? Here's, we'll run the option and pass. So there we were like, we were faking, like we were kick a field goal. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data, and you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.